Hi everyone, it's Shinezi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel Nezu and to another vlog. In today's video, I'm joined by my dad yet again. I know you guys really enjoyed seeing him the last time and so he's here with me today and we are going to the location where our revolutionary prime minister Morris Bishop was housed. Locally, we call the area Islander and my dad will give you a lot of history on this area so i really hope you enjoy it for those of you who love to know about the history of grenada this is the video for you so guys as you may remember this is my dad edwin frank and just as a reminder he does tours so if you guys want a tour i'll put his information on the screen and in the description below so if you want a driving tour maybe or maybe even one of these walking tours i think he does a few of those you can contact him <laughs> well thank you very much that was not expected but well hello <laughs> and we've just started underneath the tambourine tree and as i notice our national flora right there the bougainvillea always comes up whenever we are talking about how beautiful this island grenada is and you know as i'm walking in this direction somehow i can't help but remember the days of the revolution and the frequent trips we made up this way although we've seen chains today but this was the entrance to what was called at the time Butler House the office of the Prime Minister at the very top and several what we called at the time parish council and zonal council meetings were held there based on recent pronouncements major developments are scheduled for this area in fact two hotels we are told will be built in the environs to this area but yes i was just making the point that butler house was a popular destination during the grenada revolution because the zonal council and parish council meetings were held there we're passing a flamboyant tree well that's the name we use locally although most people would know it as a royal poinciana in the days of going to school we called it a shack shack tree because the produce is what we use for making shack shack a musical instrument as we grew up but talking about this area that we're now walking up Chinesi, a lot of history mm. is associated with this particular location it even goes back to the period when the indigenous Kalinago people were here and the French came in in 1649 and decided right away to build some kind of defense mechanism up here but that wasn't any major structure as such however going forward when the tongue the first tongue was built in the lagoon area what was called port louis in 1650 they needed some kind of military protection up here and in those days they called everything port louis and fort louis and after trying to operate with the town being on a strip of land that separated the sea from the volcanic lagoon area it was a visit by a French priest named Father Pierre Labat in the year 1700 that resulted in the town's relocation to its present status the bottom line in all of this is that fast forward and it was in 1948-49 that the first hotel for tourism purposes was built in this area or built in Grenada up here upon completion it was called the Santa Maria Hotel it was named after the main ship that Columbus used on his initial voyage to the Caribbean quote unquote the Caribbean as he sailed west hoping to get to the east so initially it was the Santa Maria Hotel and then later on it became known as the 
Island eh, Hotel. So this was the exact location of what we called the Butler House. And by the way, we call it Butler House because of Tubal Uriah Buzz Butler. He was a Grenadian who worked very hard on behalf of the oil field workers of Trinidad and Tobago back in 1937. So what was the original hotel, the Islander Hotel? Prior to that, it was called Santa Maria. And then during the revolution, Butler House was located right here on our left. And this became the office of the prime minister. It was among the casualties, so to speak, of buildings that were destroyed during the American intervention in 1983. As we speak, though, there are indications of um, possibilities of a hotel being built here, nicely galvanizing down to the beach below. Pandy Beach below is a very, very nice beach. Just to say, too, about up here the islander hill as most people call it it was part of a defense mechanism that was set up initially and we look towards that direction we see the world famous grand Anse beach grand Anse itself means big cove it is 1.8 miles in length and it is generally regarded as the best beach on grenada an island with more than 45 beaches. That village there, Belmont, is one of four villages in Grenada and Caracu with the same name. Belmont meaning beautiful mountain. There are so many villages, as I have said elsewhere, where one can get a clear feeling that the French genuinely felt this island was beautiful because so many villages have names that imply beauty whether it's Mont Jalou, Jealous Mountain or Mont Delis, Delightful Mountain as I said, Belmont means beautiful mountain we have Belvedere, beautiful outlook or beautiful view there is of course Bellevue and Bel Air, Bel Air is beautiful air Bon Air is good air and we can go on and speak about La Mode which means fashionable even Beau speaks of beauty, saying have a beautiful day. And we can go on and on in terms of the names of this island, names that were given during the occupation or the colonization by the French. We look across the water and we see our general hospital. It was a gift from the government and people of Cuba. Grenada is a very fertile, moderately eroded volcanic island things grow quite easily we have seen these dandokaya trees the flamboyant as we mentioned earlier and uh, sip trees as well so we're going to use another road to exit make a circle because during the period of the revolution this is what we did there were choices or options in terms of access to the office of the prime minister the, the place where the actual zonal council and parish council meetings took place was more the ground floor and we've seen anchored yachts and we've done very well as a yachting destination simply because our latitude of 12 degrees north means that in general terms we don't get that many hurricanes because historically we've had about three per century and that allows american insurance companies and other insurance companies around the world for that matter to maintain coverage on yachts while they're here during the hurricane season we have seven functioning marinas on the island and um, every year we seem to see more and more yachts visiting and enjoying Grenada in the extreme distance is where the Maurice Bishop International Airport is located. Right next to it is the Sandals Resort. And we were also seeing the Royalton, the recently expanded Royalton Hotel, which has become the biggest hotel in Grenada. They now have 261 rooms. So they have taken over from the Radisson, which for many years we regarded as having the largest number of rooms. They have 240. Well, we've seen quite a number of tamarind trees most people may call it tamarind because that's how the word is spelt but based on 
our upbringing, our forefathers may not have been that literate and they ended up calling it Tambrand and that's the common way in which we refer to that very tasty fruit for some people because some can be very sour the bottom line is that there are nutritional values associated with tambran and we make tambran juice tambran balls there is nectar from tambran etc so we have been able to make adequate use of the large number of tambran trees that have been scattered all over this beautiful island so guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed getting a bit more history on the Islander area. I think most of us at least know of the area, but many of us don't know much about the history. So hopefully you learned something new. And if you enjoyed it, definitely thumbs it up so I know. Leave a comment letting me know what your thoughts are on the video. You can let my dad know if there's any other area you want him to talk about. As you can see, he loves talking history. So let him know. And of course, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you'll always know when I post a new video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!